Hello there, Ali here from Logo Diffusion, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Logo Diffusion to turn any logo into a 3D uh, illustration. So we start by going to Redesign Method, click here to open up this panel, and then click on here to uh, load up your logos. So for this example, we're going to use the Logo Diffusion logo. You can just open it up. And since it's a simple logo without too much details, we can just go with shape blocks. Uh, now going down here, we need to increase the image weight, which is how much this image is going to have influence on the final result. So I'll bump it up to around like 1.3 and then bump up the image quality to around 40, 45. Let's have four images. And then before we get started, we just make sure that we're using the 3D method. And then here, finally, for the prompt, we can do something like glazed donut. Then we highlight this part of the prompt and then just give it extra uh, emphasis here. I would actually give it uh, three bolts. And then after that, I can just write something uh, to kind of help the AI keep the image clean. So I would just write something like MP clean background. And let's hit generate. We got the results, and now you can see it looks like a glazed uh, donut. And it is a graphic that you can use for marketing, you can use for a Facebook post, and it's using your logo or brand identity without being too repetitive. You can be creative and try different things with it. Here are a few examples I was able to get uh, already. So you can see you can keep uh, generating until you get the result that you like. This one I added something like pastel colors to kind of influence uh, the results a little bit. And this is a result that you might get if you don't add something like clear empty background. Kind of the AI runs wild a little bit with the prompt and does uh, uh, more of what you told it in the background as well. Now moving on to a more complex logo, you can just remove this one and then click again to load another one. I'm gonna try something with the Starbucks logo. So adding the Starbucks, I would rather go with something like rough edges. And I would keep these settings the same at the moment. And let's change Latte Art. And just leave it at that. And let's click Generate. Now you can see we got some results here. Uh, this one looks pretty cool. It kind of like follows the Starbucks logo and, and it looks like Latte, latte Art. Uh, some of the results might look a little bit weird, like this one. I'm not sure why they added some greenery here, but the rest of it looks looks pretty cool. And you can always regenerate to get the results uh, that you want. Uh, so if I want to try something more kind of following the logo, I can increase the image weight to something like 1.5. 1. 1. And uh, instead of latte art, I'll try something different. Let's say Starbucks became a sushi joint. So try something like sushi queen and then empty white background and let's give that two bolts and then let's generate again all right and you can see looking at these results you can see that it followed uh, the prompt we're getting some sushi arrangement here these are like some different results and i've also did a few tests before just to test this prompt and you can see these results look uh, pretty cool kind of following what we asked for and we got a pretty usable image